know, what drill would you do? Let's do that. Let's do, I think let's start with two versus one in the, in the corner. Let's, let, let, let's look at the defence, because you're both left court players. So let's look at the defence to begin with, and then we can put it into an exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're at the net. Nick's at the back defending, yeah? It's hitting it like a rocket. If, if it's going out, we're going to leave it. Oh, Nick, that's classic. Let's do, uh, when you feel it's appropriate, hit like a Chiquita down to feet and come in and block and volley that next ball. But then go back again to, to defend, yeah? And then take him back, trying to avoid that racket coming up for the, the high swing, yeah? Keeping that, that racket low. What percentage would you say your, like, I feel like the majority of shots is like 100%. It's like boom, 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 it's like bullets. Yeah. But when you hit that Chiquita, yeah. like even if you don't come in, it's, it's a more difficult shot for us. Sure. Like it's like we, we always talk about it, like you, you're very, you're good at it because you hit like, like this. But the problem is, is when you're out of position and you hit so fast, all we have to do is block it back and you're still out of position. Yeah. So like, let's try now, I would say, Probably normally when you play, what, 5%, 10% of soft Chiquitas? Yeah. Maybe, like max. Yeah. Let's, let's turn it around and let's say, right, let's do, you know, 10% fast and 90% soft. Okay. Just to try, like, just to completely flip it now so that the majority of your shots are Chiquitas soft to the feet, even in difficult positions. Was the first one you hit faster and and it gave us a, but you see how much like see how much more, more effective this is oh, yeah. it's really tough for us like to if you hit slow for us to do a, a lot with that particularly if the ball is below the height of the net yeah. yeah let's do a couple more and then we switch around but let's like everything soft if you can and then the one that you want bang to tom <laughs> yeah little set. yes that's what we like good ah. Oh, Sandy, what a volley. When you feel like it, you can lob as well, yeah? Just to mix it in. Good. Nice, Nick. Oh, very good. Let's do one more. Again, soft, 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 soft. When you get the chance, use the lob. Yeah, good change. Let's, uh, let's switch it around. And you notice though, it doesn't even have to be like this margin here, right? Like even the ones that are coming up here, yeah. they're soft, we, we're good volleyers, but like if it's here and soft, like... When you don't get any pace, it makes it hard as a volleyer. Yeah. When you're hitting it softer, I can't actually do much at all. Even if I try and put more on it, the yeah. tendency is then to over hit, isn't it, as the volleyer? Because you yeah. think, oh, I'm not getting anything. Yeah, and then you try and do something with it. Yeah, yeah. And the, the thing is, it's different. Like in, in World Champs in Dubai, the courts were slick and they were fast and yeah. wet. And so in that corner, like to spin round and hit a bullet was yeah, kind yeah. of working because the conditions were like that. But majority like this, you, you don't want to play like that. It doesn't give you time to recover in defense. No, exactly, like when I play the slower ball and you both have that half a step in, it gives me half a step more. Yeah, and, and, if, it's, and if we're contacting below, it means we have to contact up to hit up, sorry. and and then you've got time, yeah? You can see as well, as a defender, if, if the volley is starting it harder, the tendency of the defender is then also to start hitting harder as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. One but it's our advantage, advantage, right? The volley, we're yeah. here, like, this comfort zone for us. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Switch, do you want to switch around? Yeah. And then almost, Tom, kind of take that into consideration now that you're the one in that corner. Well, I've seen the answer sheet now, haven't I? <laughs> as you're ripping, <laughs> ripping yeah. shots from the back. Yes. Yeah, nice. Ah! 
slower pace, it is more difficult. Just showing an example of that. Nice. What would be a good exercise, I think, is after you've hit your chiquita and come in, let's let's hit that next volley slowly. Okay. Because it's tempting to come in and like vroom, like bang, you've done the job, right? But now let's have it chiquita, whichever way you play, yeah. like and then soft chiquita into the space. Okay. Yeah. Yes. To make. Yeah, yeah. It's tennis, tennis instincts. Yes. Good. Ugh. You see the difference now is that that, that wins you time to take the net. Because yeah, if you're hitting a Chiquita and you're making it to there and you hit soft again, you've got time to come forward. Whereas if it's fast, it's like 50-50. Well, yeah, because we just have to block, right? And, yeah. and then not even taking in consideration your partner. Yeah. If you do that for your partner, it's like you leave him in the, in the wind a little bit. There you go. Yeah, nice. Get yours, go Nick! The bullet, the, the bullet back. <laughs> um, it slows down, doesn't it? When you yeah. Do like that. Yeah, like yeah. You've got more time. You've got time and, you, you, and suddenly you feel like you're dictating from the back, yeah. which normally you feel like you're on the receiving end. Um, I'm going to try a different game, like a little game I haven't done before um, off the back. Let's go back into this. We'll play points, yeah. okay? But we say, once you step in front of the line, you're committed then to coming to net. Okay. okay, so if you do the Chiquita and you come forward, you're coming to net, but you haven't got the lob. Okay. I'm almost saying if you can, if you can get it to, to bounce on, if you win the point and get it bouncing on this side, then that's like a bonus point. Okay. So if we let it bounce in the service box? Yeah, because what, what we're trying to get you to do is hit that Chiquita and then, and then that like, cool, and then, it? yeah, play, place that next one so that you're going to try and make it bounce. Okay. In the meantime, coming in. That's the aim. Show us how to do it, Nick, all right? Don't embarrass me. Yours. <clears throat> See, that's good. That, that's good. But, but had you hit that next one a bit slower, it would have brought you one more step. Rapid hands. <laughs> yeah. But isn't there's not a need to hit that hard? Do you think? Yeah. Particularly on your forehand. Now you got quite a lot of space down here. Like I'm not saying that because Tom's not covering. I just mean like like that's quite a safe zone to hit at. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You got it, you got it. Oh, <laughs> the high floater to the forehand. Beat them again. Winner takes all. Oh, nice. Well played, Nick, yeah? That was solid, huh? Like risk-free, like that way of coming in. Yeah. We talked about it before in our sessions as well, of almost hitting that and then even using the lob a bit. Yeah. You know, like instead of you, you like whenever I see you play, especially in the UK, it's like one and it's like, yeah. like and then it's like yeah. a yeah. gladiator duel of like volley to volley. I think we always feel like it's a mix up, don't we? When you yeah. Down, what we're saying is actually probably yeah, speeding up is a mix up. Isn't like it? in tennis, you'd never do that, yeah. would you? You'd never like no, hit one to, down to feet and then soft to the corner, like you're hitting past them, whereas like this mentality here is like you've still got work to do even when you come forward right yeah. like it's not over then yeah okay yeah. come on then in yeah yeah let's see you tom doing it yeah get that up get that up short shot <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that's the one. And then, and then almost like resist that temptation as a tennis volleyer to go for like an angle. 
because because you've done the good one here like the sensible thing for your backhand volley is like soft there or there good nice tom really good there it is <laughs> well played tom but <laughs> Yours again. <laughs> but this 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 spot here of like soft down here is super effective because it's really difficult for me to get there and you've got to stretch so far across to get that. So from that end, like that that's the, the ideal play is like this yeah. this channel down there. Yeah, it's yeah. Particularly, I mean, as the player here, you're taking time away, right? So you play that, open up the space, and then take time away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you, and both of you guys there were in control of the speed, yeah. really, from the back. You hit one or two soft, you hit a soft one in, you volley that next one. Like, it's almost like you've got all the time in the world then to come forward, and you're both best at volleying, so, like, yeah. it makes sense to have that in your arsenal. Yeah. Awesome. Good. yeah. Cheers, guys. Love it. <laughs> <laughs>